Welcome back to Nerd Notify, everybody, and guess what I just got? First off, I want to say thank you, everyone, for being patient with me. I've had a very long couple of weeks, 10 straight days of work, followed by a full weekend of traveling, seeing family, well, Amy's family. So I just got back from Nebraska not 20 minutes ago. It's about 10 and a half hours that way to Wasa, Nebraska, and about another 10 back. So I'm exhausted, but we got something fun to open, and I can't wait to see what's in this box and put it on and play it. So let's do this. As always, gotta have a handy dandy knife, but let's crack this open and see what we got. So the PlayStation VR is Sony's culmination of hard work trying to get into the VR space. Obviously, we've got things like the Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive, um, we got Samsung's Gear VR, and honestly, those are the three big players. Um, I don't really count Microsoft's HoloLens because it's augmented reality versus virtual reality, but at the same time, Sony's jumping in real quick with something that's pretty cool. So um, I did get the launch bundle that's going to come with two Move controllers, the actual headset, the PlayStation camera, as well as the VR Worlds game because I did not have any of those extra accessories, and this was 500 bucks. Um, the actual headset you can get just it and its processing unit for 400 bucks so just so you know if you're looking to try to get into it it's going to be kind of hard hunting these down i was lucky to even find this i actually found it on my way to nebraska um, in sioux city so hey they're out there just good luck okay let's get in here there's a giant box by the way oh snap Oh, look at this. That's a box by itself. All right, hold on. And then this. We're going to toss this bad boy back here. Get that out the way. We've got two more big casings. I'm, ha I'm guessing this is going to house the actual headset in here. Get rid of that. All right. Looks like this just flips back. Oh, look at Sony go. <laughs> Bright blue box. Okay, it's one more box and another box. God dang it. Oh, no, maybe not. Nope, that doesn't come out. My bad. <laughs> Let's set that back. Sorry if that's bumping the microphone, by the way. I really am tired and I have no other way to make this work. <laughs> but it looks like the top is just a quick start guide. Yeah, it looks like it's just showing you what's in the box uh, what's in the box we got HDMI cable the USB cable AC adapter AC power cord VR headset connection cable the actual headset itself stereo headphones oh that's nice that it comes with headphones I mean I've got my own but still uh, the processor unit and then the printed uh, materials documentation so there's all of that just showing you how to hook it up it looks like processing unit is gonna hook up to the PlayStation 4 with the USB yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'll take that back with the HDMI cable. Uh, actually, no, that goes to the TV. Whatever. We'll get this in a second. Camera hooks up to the PS4. Uh, yep, still HDMI to the PS4. Okay, yeah. All that good stuff. USB cable to the PS4 as well. There are three cables coming from the processor unit out to your different things. So, I mean, you've got the USB cable hooking up the processor unit to the PS4, an HDMI cable to the PS4, and an HDMI cable to the TV. So it looks like I'm going to have to make some space on there because it uh, looks like the Wii U might get disconnected while I'm playing this thing. Uh, but still, that's kind of silly. And then, of course, the PlayStation camera has to be hooked up, which with my hmm, with my Kinect camera, I'm going to have to make that work too. <laughs> uh, power source, obviously. Looks like the VR connection cable. Jesus, there's a lot of stuff. Headphones going to the connection cable. Power, power, power. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of silly, but all right. Uh, moving on. On to the pretty. Well, dang. All right. This reminds me of the Wii and the Wii U, like the way they packaged everything. Or is that just me? Whatever. Actually, be right back. Sorry, had to turn off the air because that was kind of loud, and it looks like my pizza's on the way. Crap. Okay, let's get back into this. Uh, yep, that looks like it's the processing unit. I'm going to keep these separate. 
connection cables, power, and headphones. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's power for the actual whoo, for the actual processing unit. Huh, that's actually kind of cool. The processing unit. Oh, it's in two pieces. It looks like a little PS4. <laughs> Does it connect that way? Oh, it's to make it easier to hook up the actual components. So the um, the HDMI cable and it looks like the USB cable. They look like two different HDMI's, but whatever. Yep, I was right. Yep, HDMI to the TV and HDMI to the PS4, but. Both of those are in the back. Then you've got these connections, I'm assuming, to the actual headset there. Uh, power and micro USB. Hmm, maybe for firmware updates or something. Um, we'll see what's up with that, but that's pretty legit. Let's sit this down. And a lot more cables that I'm not going to unwrap quite yet, but dang, that is long. Okay, this is just an HDMI cable, so that's fine. But cable number four, yeah, this is the connection to the actual VR headset. This thing is long. Okay, well, we're going to sit that right there. Fold out the middle. Oh, no. All of that for the damn other half of a power. You know what? Whatever. I'm not going to say nothing. Just for that. All right, look, got the actual headset here in the middle in all of its glory. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that bad boy. These are actually surprisingly comfortable. Um, I actually had a chance to demo this at Best Buy and it's, it's really comfortable. It doesn't feel too heavy. Um, there's a nice, easy way to, to actually tighten it and loosen it. So um, I'm excited to play with it. Amy and I are going to have some fun, you know, trying out the VR Worlds game tonight. So, um, And I actually plan on picking up probably E Valkyrie and maybe the Batman Arkham VR just to play with those. But um, this is very exciting. So <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy. This is cool. Look at that, though. I think it's gorgeous. I'm going to sit there right there. All right, and that's all in this box. Let me get that down. Set that over there. And we're going to go in here, the smaller box. Yeah, it looks like it just had the VR World game. Oh. Oh, and a demo disc. Okay, I didn't know it came with a demo disc. That's actually good to know. Um, that's going to have some of the other stuff that I had a chance to play with um, at the actual VR demos that they did in the stores. So um, that's going to have a chance for me to mess with, yeah, like all the big games that they were pushing at first. E Valkyrie, Drive Club VR, the Riggs uh, Mechanized Combat League, a bunch of stuff. So this, this is awesome. I can't wait to mess with this. This is great. Then, of course, the VR Worlds, which is kind of their leading experience because it's got a lot of different things in there. There's like a luge. Um, kind of experience. There's the this London heist um, little quick thing that was really cool that I tried. There's a deep sea, of course, like um, where you get attacked by like sharks and all that you know crazy stuff. So um, I'm I'm legitimately excited. I cannot wait. This is awesome. Sit these here, uh, and it looks like yep more connection cables. <laughs> uh, here is a micro USB. Most likely two micro USBs, probably for the, the move controllers. I'm not sure what this is. Stand for the move controllers? Like a way to hook them up? It bends. Oh, that's for the camera. I am stupid. Wow. Good job, Damon. There's that. The actual camera. So, <laughs> gonna hook this up in a second. And if you see me run to my door, it's probably because the pizza guy is going to be knocking any moment now. So be aware. <laughs> but yeah, there's the camera, which I'm actually glad to have because I didn't have one. Move controller number one. Whoops. Great as ever, which I need to charge these. 
And move controller number two. Noise. So these, in conjunction with the camera and the processing unit and the obvious headset, are what's going to make up the VR experience. So um, these obviously track in real time in the game, so you can do certain things like that for picking up objects, which is awesome because you don't really have that with, say, the Oculus Rift yet because you're still waiting on their motion controls. The closest other experience is the HTC Vive, which, to be fair, does a bit more because you can move in a full 3D space that's kind of mapped out for you, but you need at least a $1,100 you know, PC to run it decently. Um, so if you already have a PS4, this is a really great alternative to getting into the VR kind of just space in general. So awesome, I cannot wait to try this out. Um, you guys pretty much see everything. Yeah, that comes with it. There's a cloth, <laughs> a microfiber cloth, and more manuals, which I'm not gonna deal with because who reads manuals anyway? Not this kid. Whoops. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I really just wanted to show you the final setup for the VR. Um, so I've got the headset right here. And this power station is a must if you don't own it. This thing is fantastic. It'll house the move controllers as well as your normal DualShock right here. So get one of those if you're going to pick up a VR. It's just really nice and handy to have this kind of in one solid place kind of waiting to go. Um, the main cable from the VR does go into the front of the processing unit. So I wanted you guys to see that. Um, but really, I got everything set up. It's out the way. Um, ended up throwing the camera on the top there. And it's working out pretty well. And you guys should see some footage uh, soon. So yeah, peace. I really want to thank you all for watching. I can't wait to do some of these games and get more of the PlayStation VR games out. I'm going to, of course, do reviews on what I can and show you guys what I've got going. But... Really, again, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. You rock. Don't stop being the best. And I will catch you on the flip side. Don't forget to dance it out, all right? Peace!